Uh, the two cool coins I want to show you today are right here. Uh, it's a nice toned uh, rattler, and we added um, a buffalo to uh, the set. We're going to be answering the question, is toning valuable? Hey guys, it's day one of uh, the Tennessee show, and in today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys a few coins, um, and also be talking about uh, is a table worth it uh, at a coin show. Uh, we got, but first here we got uh, you know a nice Buffalo uh, 09s cent, proof like Morgan dollar, uh, pretty nice PQ uh, Walking Liberty halves, 88 uh, S Morgan. And uh, the two cool coins I want to show you today are right here. Uh, it's a nice toned uh, rattler. And we added um, a buffalo to uh, the set. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. Hey guys, day one just concluded at uh, Tennessee Coin Show. We uh, made out, found some nice stuff. Um, and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, the gentleman that we met there. Um, we've been talking a little bit about stories and things that are important to us. Um, and there was a gentleman there that actually ended up selling us a few things. Uh, one being this 1914D uh, Lincoln Cent, graded VF20 by PCGS. Um, and the main reason I wanted to talk to you about him is because He's a really avid collector of Morgan Dollars, but he also has a good story on why um, he started collecting, and uh, a tragedy that ended up happening to him a little bit a little bit ago. Um, he ended up buying. He ended up going to Summer Fun. I think that's what he was talking about. Um, his wife, um, she was ha handling some some health issues, and he ended up buying uh, an eight, an 1893 O-graded AU50. It was a Morgan Dollar. Um, and so he, you know, he actually, uh, she, he actually didn't want to go to the show. And his wife was telling him, hey, you need to go and you need to enjoy what you do. What you do. Um, and so he ended up going and he, he picked up the coin that he was looking at. It was one of his last ones of the show. And his wife passed away. Um, and it really hit, hit home for us, you know. Um, I know that she, she passed away and... Um, it, it, you know, it was, it was very sad, but I think that what, what really caught my attention is that someone that, that loves you, someone that, uh, is looking out for things that you're passionate about. She was, uh, someone to tell him, Hey, go chase your passion, go chase what you love to do. Um, and you know, not, that's not like to like, you know, if your wife's telling you don't buy a coin or, you know, we're watching out for finances or whatever, that that's something else. I'm just saying someone that's like. You love coins, babe. Like, awesome. I, I'm I'm here for you because I know you love coins, and you know we're gonna work on working on your collection. And then if she likes something like handbags or something else, you guys are working through that. That's something that I think built their marriage so strongly. You know, we actually I'm gonna show you guys the next coin, uh, but we actually ended up talking to him more, and it was like, you know, his wife was just so supportive of him and. Um, what really tied him back to why he loves numismatics is because his wife, you know, his wife was so adamant about him chasing what his passion was. And what was really, really cool was that, uh, you know, uh, he he was having a hard, hard time with his wife and a local coin shop said to him, hey, buddy, uh, you know, I know you have a, full, a formal job and you, you have things working on the side, but can you come spend some time with us every week at the coin shop? And so... Uh, he ended up spending uh, some of his Saturdays and a little bit of his Friday nights and some Sundays and some coin shows helping them out. And they've actually helped him fill a lot of uh, stuff for his collection. Um, he ended up buying this 1879 CC raw, and then he ended up getting in a 64 holder with a CAC sticker. Um, 
it's just the the man himself uh, loved his wife, loves coins, and th those are the people sometimes that makes the show for us. Um, it, you know, we didn't really do too many sales the first day. It was kind of something new for us. You know, we're not really accustomed to working with other dealers uh, on you know a table to table basis. And Mitch really helped us out. Uh, he was really just a, a very inspiring person. The dedication he had to uh, his collection, the dedication he had to his wife, um, just the meaning of life for him meant so much for us. But uh, let's continue showing you guys some awesome coins. I'm so glad um, that I met somebody like that. And that's what coin shows are all about. It's about bringing people together that are like-minded. Um, but here is uh, a coin that you guys will love. This is a 1909 SVDB graded uh, extra fine 40 by PCG. I'm sorry, by A and X. Um, I ended up buying this from the guy uh, next to us. Uh, you know, when I get an opportunity, even if I don't make too much money, uh, I don't think I made too much on this coin when it's sold. But when I get an opportunity to buy a coin like this, um, I, I take a, I, I take it. You know. Um, and when I actually ended up buying, someone that is on the website ended up buying this coin, I think the next day after we posted it, just because how uh, influential the 1909 SVDB is in anyone's Lincoln set. Um, this coin's nice, it has a nice brown to it, you can't really see it in the video, and it has a, a nice VDB um, when, you, when you take a look as well. And what was kind of weird about some VDBs I was seeing at the show is like, they almost were like off center or they were like all messed up like they were squeezed together when I take a look at the VDBs on the back. And for me, I don't know if that was an issue or an error or a, a, a VAM or something, but that really took me away from the coins and I didn't really want to see them like that. I, I don't know. It kind of, you know, I wanted to find something that was nice, original, um, had the S and the VDB that was just poking out at it and, um, this coin was really nice, and I want to thank you guys for helping us out on the website. It means so much, but let's cut it to today's whiteboard session. Hey guys, this is Drew. Welcome back to another whiteboard session. In this session, we're going to be talking about uh, toning, and we're going to be answering the question, is toning valuable? Uh, as you guys seen or are about to see in this video, we're going to be showing you guys an 1880S Morgan Dollar graded MS65 by PCGS, uh, it's held in a rattler holder, so it is a little bit more valuable because of that. Um, and so what what I wanted to draw for you guys today, we've been talking about the three uh, different type of coins in terms of eye appeal. We have the blast white, uh, the ugly tone, and the beautifully toned uh, Morgan Dollar, Buffalo Nickel, you have it. Um, but basically when you uh, look at these coins, there's, there's things that make them more valuable based on their eye appeal, or their grade, but we're gonna be just picking apart eye appeal today. Um, blast white uh, basically means, uh, you know, a coin may have a $20 to $1,000, over $1,000 premium based on um, if the coin's flashy, uh, not no distracting marks on it, or it's a uh, deep mirror proof like or a proof like Morgan. Sometimes uh, it's, some years are harder for them to be proof like or, or, or uh, deep mirror proof like. Um, then we move down to ugly toning. Ugly toning sometimes uh, it's just not what people view as an appealing coin. People like uh, coins that uh, are, are very appealing to their eye, would, would fit nice in their collection. So sometimes it's good to pay less than standard pricing for an ugly toned coin just so you can make a profit. Um, and what is standard pricing? Well, we talked about this a few videos back. Um, it's the combination of auction records price guide and gray sheet. And basically uh, when you're using all those, it'll help you price a coin. Uh, but sometimes there's things that go above the pricing standard, which uh, makes you have to go research uh, different things. Um, and a good way to know what's a beautifully toned Morgan is go to monstertonemorgans.com. Um, they'll give you a, a bunch of information about uh, different prices, what you should put on your Morgans based on the character that they have, the colors that they have. They also give Add information um, on how to uh, find different uh, progressions and how coins are toned. Um, that's very important for you guys to learn as well because there's been a lot of comments lately that have, that have said uh, toning is damaged. That's completely incorrect. Um, toning has actually uh, has its own market. Um, it's very highly sought after and we're going to show you guys exactly 
um, that with this coin right now. Um, so basically the brass tax uh, on the coin we just talked about, gray sheet for the coin is only 200. Uh, price guide is 230 bucks. And so the question would be, why would I pay $450, uh, almost double price guide for this coin? Well, basically, uh, knowing that it's beautifully toned, doing my research on monstertonemorgans.com, and knowing that it's a rattler um, with toning, which we've been talking about as well, I paid a lot of money for the coin. But what did I make on the coin? I sold it for $575. So the next time you guys uh, run into a Tone Morgan, try to do your research beforehand. Um, it'll help you uh, understand the dynamics of it um, and help you guys make some money as well. And if you guys want to use uh, this, this V-shaped diagram that we made, uh, it may be helpful to you as well. Um, and if you guys want to take a look back at a previous whiteboard session on how we uh, break apart coins and how we pay for them, um, you click on the link just in the top right of the screen. But let's get back to today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that whiteboard session. Let's show you guys a few more interesting coins that we bought at the coin show. This is an 1878S Morgan Dollar Grid MS64 Proof Flight by NGC. And the reason why I purchased this coin um, is because, uh, you know, it's it's a little bit of a tougher date to find in proof like in the series. Um, it is CAC approved. It also has very beautiful fields. We've been talking about how some coins don't even look proof like, but they receive the proof like designation. Um, this coin, um, as you can see, is proof like. Uh, it also has some nice rim toning to it as well. I think NGC graded this coin um, exactly and exactly how it should have been. It's very fair. There is some chatter in the fields, which does take away from it getting a little bit higher of a grade. I think the cheek is very clean for a 64 proof like, but uh, you know only time will tell if someone else ends up you know sending this coin in again to see what happens with it. I think it possibly one day could be a 65 proof like, um, but overall I love the coin itself. And I only really try to buy coins that I love and that I wouldn't mind holding on to for a while if they, you know, were waiting for the right person to put them in their collection. Now this, this is a coin that I really love. I've been building a nice buffalo set. Someone commented and gave me an offer and I couldn't take it because I'm building a nice buffalo set and I'm sticking to it. And I know money's money, but, uh, you know, it's... This buffalo is really, really nice, as as my other ones will be as well. Um, this is a 1930S Buffalo Nickel, grade MS64 by uh, NGC. As you can tell by the green, the blue, and the orange, this coin is just a stunner. Uh, I love the character of the coin. I love the color of the coin. It was freshly graded. And what was nice about this coin is I only paid $10 over gray sheet for the color. $10 over gray sheet, guys. Like, that's a win in itself. Um, you know, and the details on the coin are really nice. There is a little bit, if we can zoom in on this side here, um, there are a few spots down by the neck, which does take away a little bit from the coin's attractiveness. Um, people don't like those sometimes. But for me, I love the coin in itself. And... The way my buffalo set has been kind of forming is that, you know, I don't know. I think that a part of it has to do with the price I find it at. Like, if I find stuff that's under gray sheet or at gray sheet with this beautiful color, that's something that I love to pick up because it has its own story. And you know you're getting a good price for it. Sometimes I feel personally myself guilty for buying a coin for my collection that is, isn't undervalued but it's at value if that makes sense um, and I think this coin is undervalued for what it is I think I bought this coin for 190 and these similar examples like this that aren't toned are selling for upwards 240 260 so I made a right buy and I can't wait to put this uh, in the in with the rest of the buffaloes here's a coin I also brought bought with the uh, the proof like Morgan this is an 1877cc seated quarter. Uh, it has some nice rim toning to it. Luster is still intact. It, the 62 uh, grade I would agree with just because of its luster. I think it is a little bit of a lackluster coin for a mint state uh, example. 
but I think the reverse really does make up for it. And uh, the darkness of the color uh, also does take away, um, in my opinion. But I haven't really worked with uh, any other CC type coins other than uh, the Morgan. And so when someone offered this to me and they said, name your price, your boy named his price, ended up getting it, and now you're seeing it here. I'm really starting to get into the seated coins. They're just... They just blow my mind um, how nice they are, um, and if you can find one like this, I try to I try to find it and pick it up. Um, and so I hope you guys enjoy this coin. Um, I don't think it will last too long. Let's show you guys a few other things here. Uh, this is a 1909s uh, Lincoln cent graded uh, VF30 by PCGS, um, and back back to you know getting a nice. A nice coin for someone's set. Um, you know, this one it is not the VDB, but it is something that's close to it. It gives people that that almost their finish line type of feel for their collection. Um, you know, when they can when they can buy a nice coin like this, uh, put it in there. I think this one, you know, coins like this normally go for 120 bucks. That's not something that's super expensive, but it does give someone that then the power to say, you know, what, I own a nice 1909s Lincoln cent. And I'm so excited to put in my collection. And so, uh, when I, in terms of approaching Lincolns, uh, I love buying the key dates because it is easily uh, drawn to for Lincoln set collectors. We're going to talk a little bit in this video about uh, commemoratives, um, but in the next video, we're talking a little bit more about them. This is um, 1935D, Arkansas. Commemorative graded MS64 by uh, PCGS. The coin overall is very original. It doesn't have that dipped look to it, um, and there's no haziness about the coin. And commemoratives have actually gone up a lot since uh, we've been talking these past few months. They're in very high demand, um, and so we're going to be showing you guys a few very nice coins, very nice uh, commemoratives in the next video. So stay tuned for that. But I love Ar this Arkansas coin just because it is very original, it is very affordable, and uh, people like to start to move towards these because of that reason. Uh, and I think right now these coins are undervalued in the marketplace. Here is uh, an interesting coin we also got from Mitch. Um, this is an 1882O over S Morgan dollar grade AU50 strong by PCGS. Lackluster because it is an AU58 uh, coin, but you're going to see something really cool about this coin right now. I bought this coin mainly because when you look at the mint mark, it is strong. You know, this coin, um, when it says strong, it means strong. And I think this coin is really cool because of the mint mark. It looks like an 8. Um, I don't know, I thought it was just very unique. I don't see that every day. And, um, Overall, the coin itself, you know, uh, it gives that it gives you that variety, that little uh, extra spice um, for for uh, if you're a coin dealer or for a collection. It's just a very dynamic piece, um, just because of that mint mark. And I had to pick this coin up. I had to give it a test because I haven't I haven't bought an O over S strong before, and that mint mark just I don't know. It spoke to me in a different way. Last but not least, I wanted to show you guys a nice 1943 uh, Walking Liberty half dollar. I actually bought two of these from uh, a table down the way. I like this coin, um, and what I've been buying with Walkers is very high uh, premium quality coins in terms of luster, in terms of contact marks. Um, I think this coin has a weak strike, but overall the contact marks are very minimal. The luster is extraordinary, and... Um, much like commemoratives, we're trying to find nice blast white examples for people to stack every month uh, just so they can either complete their walker set or complete their commemorative set. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, let's roll it to the outro. <laughs>